How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. This video is everything you need to know about Series 5 for Forza Horizon 5, which releases this week. I'm going to cover all of the new cars, the full festival playlist, all of the Forza Horizon shop items, the PR stunt festival and a bunch of game add-ons and fixes as well. If this video does help you out and you enjoy it, please do consider subscribing to the channel. We do stuff like this all the time. Let's get into what's coming in update 5. We're going to start with the festival playlist and all of the new cars. Now for the full series, for 80 points, which is around 50% completion, you can get the 1965 Mini Cooper S Forza Edition. This is a new to Forza Forza Edition. It's not the same Mini Cooper Forza Edition from previous titles. And once again, you get that for 80 points of the entire series. And then for 160 points of the entire series, the Porsche 917. Now for the first week, which is the 3rd of March to the 9th of March, also known as Summer, for 20 points, you can get the second new car of this month, the KTM Expo GT4. And then for 40 points, you can get the Pigani Zonda C. Here are a few quick screenshots of the rest of the festival playlist for week one, such as the seasonal championships and the treasure hunts and stuff like that, if you want to have a look. The car pass car for the first week is the 1986 Ford Mustang SVO. That's another new car. And for the first week in the Forzalon shop, you can get things such as the Lotus Elise GT1, the Toyota Tacoma Diberti, and a parade horn, as you can see on screen. Now for the second week, which is autumn, which is March 10th to March 16th, for 20 points, you can get the third new car, the 2019 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. And then for 40 points, you can get the Ferrari FFXK. Once again, here's a few screenshots of the rest of the second week if you want to know what the challenges are. Now, the car pass vehicle for the second week is the Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. That is the next new car of this month. Now we actually knew this car was coming as Playground Games gave us a clue about the Toyota Tundra that we covered on this channel. Subscribe if you don't want to miss the odd clue that we get about updates. In the Forza Don shop for the second week you can get stuff like the Sesto Elemento, the Subaru 22B and a new horn, the Confetti Cannon. The third week, which is winter, which starts on March 17th to March 23rd. For 20 points, you can get the next new car, the Noble M600. And then for 40 points, you can get the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. Not too bad. And again, here are a few screenshots of the rest of the festival playlist for the third week, the challenges and such. The car pass vehicle for the third week, which as I said is March 17th, is the 2006 Noble M400, the second Noble of this month. The Fortisholm shop on the third week, you can get stuff like the Jaguar E-Type, the Formula Drift Ferrari, and a new horn, a Minecraft horn. How exciting is that? Now for the final week, which is spring, for March 24th to March 30th. For 20 points, you can get the next new car, the Nissan GTR Nismo. We knew this car was coming as well, as we were also given a clue about a Nismo vehicle coming, and it turns out, as we can tell, to be the GTR Nismo. And then for 40 points, you can get the Honda Civic from 1984. And again, for the final week, this is the rest of the festival playlist, the challenges, the championships, the treasure hunts, and stuff like that, if you want to have a look. The Forzathon shop for the final week has stuff like the McLaren P1, the Porsche McCann Rally and another new horn, the Welcome Spring Horn. The car pass vehicle for the fourth and final week from March 24th is the 2017 Ferrari Course Cliente 488 Challenge. Very interesting car, it's a race car in fact. So the new cars of the festival playlist this month are the Mini Cooper S Forza Edition, the KTM Expo, Toyota 4Runner, Noble M600, Nissan GTR Nismo, the Ford Mustang SVO, the Toyota Tundra, the Noble M400 and the Ferrari 488 Challenge race car. Those are the new cars of this month. Let's get on to the main event of this month, which is the PR Stunt Carnival. For the next four weeks, the Horizon Stadium is going to be transformed into a stunt park featuring ramps, drift zones, loops and smashables. Along with that, the Mexico map is also going to be dressed up with party decorations such as fireworks and confetti around the Horizon Rush Festival outpost. To celebrate the PR Stunt Carnival, every week for Series 5 we'll be adding four new PR stunts. Speed zones, danger signs, trailblazers and speed traps. No drift zones. This is a total of 16 new PR stunts being added. The speed zones are going to be added permanently, however the speed traps, trailblazers and danger signs are only going to be available in Update 5 and will have a special icon to tell them apart from the permanent PR stunts. 
that is the event for this month we're going to have plenty of stuff to do within the stadium and a bunch more new pr sons as well it's a shame they're not all permanent however that's still something to very much look forward to now i'm going to get on to a bunch of other fixes and add-ons which were done to this update these aren't really fixes these are more add-ons so these are quite cool to hear sort of little mini features car headlights now function correctly in online races that's pretty cool to hear and then there's now a few event lab tweaks as well take and listen to these when editing routes, we have now added the ability to start editing from the start line rather than the first placed checkpoint. That's very good to hear. Another quality of life thing for Event Lab. They have fixed an issue where Event Lab creations at a playground games location, such as the stadium, would ignore collision settings. That has now been fixed. And to provide Event Lab creators with a larger prop selection, they have added seasonal props released in previous seasonal updates to the blueprint builder so the blueprint builder and the, the amount of props you have they've added a bunch of stuff such as the seasonal stuff festival playlist has had a few tweaks update 5 retroactively applies points for bugged daily challenges and treasure hunts from series 1 and series 2 so if you had issues with series 1 and series 2 in challenges on the festival playlist you will now get the points for the ones that you couldn't complete because of bugs this will also unlock the min meet max achievement for those who com had completed all of the other events and challenges in that series. We fixed an issue where the Horizon Tour would automatically mark itself as completed on the festival playlist. This has now been fixed, meaning that it won't complete itself automatically anymore. We've reworked the layer UI to ensure layers are displayed and that numbers don't obfuscate the layer data. Just another quality of life fix for the li livery editor. Photo mode time of day is now fixed within within photo mode so if you sat within photo mode the time of day will stay as it is and it won't sort of roll with the world traffic improvements they have improved the civilian traffic within the game including fixes for traffic not appearing in free roam after an online race and during street races that's very good to hear traffic is something we always want within horizon 5 as annoying as it can be it adds a bit of realism so it's good to see that they've fixed that now there are a lot more fixes and add-ons but these are the main highlights that they've given us i'm sure i might do another video on all of the fixes if you want me to now something else worth mentioning if you follow my channel reasonably well you know that we cover all sorts of leaks and this update sort of confirms that the leaks that we cover are true even as early as last week, we figured out that the Ford Mustang was within the files, the Toyota Tundra, the Toyota 4Runner, quite a few of the cars that have been added, we actually found in the files a few weeks ago. Well, I didn't find them in the files, someone else did, but we covered them on the channel. So far, these leaks are turning out to be correct. So if you like leaks, you want to know stuff in advance, make sure to subscribe to the channel as we are always noticing stuff like that. Anyway, guys, please let me know in the comment section below what your favorite car is from this update on what you think of the PR stunt carnival. Make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone, subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content, and I'll see you all later.